Men's sexiest fragrances. That's one of those topics in the men's fragrance space that you're looking for one of the content creators or influencers to share their secret scented sauce to get the compliment factors that we're all searching for. But is there a secret weapon? Is there a specific pile of fragrances that can absolutely unlock the possibilities of us being walking sex magnets? Let's tap into that. Let's roll my music so we can talk about men's sexiest fragrances as an overall title, theme, goal, or just an absolute flop. Listen, one of my beautiful peoples, you know who it is, it's your boy, c 3 u 3 to a As a content creator, influencer, social media personality, and walking sex symbol, I can pretty much tell you that this is all kind of just entertainment. The whole sexiest fragrances topic is for content purposes. Some people seem to forget that the YouTube platform is an entertainment platform. It's under the Google umbrella, which is a huge search engine for information. We're passing along entertainment information to y'all based on one singular opinion. Now the fact of the matter is that as fragrance content creators, we're not walking around being full-blown sex symbols. Like do you see models as fragrance influencers other than me? No. And let's be honest, I'm no prize here. Sure, sure. Cool, cool, cool. So who the hell are we to give you sexy compliment grabbing scent profile recommendations? Entertainers, influencers, content creators. Now I make content because it entertains me, number one, because I'm a narcissistic piece of shit. But I love fragrances. Now honestly speaking, what fragrances can do is help boost the already existing compliments. Just like alcohol, it gives you that little bit of liquid courage that once it hits that liver, woo! Whoa, 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 whoa. I am unstoppable. You go from five, five to six foot seven, deep dick root with a six pack, huge slump. It's all a lie. It's all perception. You smoke a little something, you propel yourself to a new stratosphere, you eat some shrooms. After you get past the cow patty shit taste, you're talking to a couple of fucking leprechauns and hoping Snow White comes and kisses you in reverse. Smooches. Fragrances have sex appeal. Fragrances are fire. It's a great hobby, super fun, can put you in the poorhouse if you're easily influenced by anyone and anything. But stop taking shit so literal and so deep. Enjoy it for what it is, content, entertainment, and opinion. You think spending $3,000 on fragrance is gonna get you 3,000 pieces of bush? You need to spend that money on a therapist. If you don't wash your ass, you're unhygienic, your teeth are falling out, you're 768 pounds, you got seven stomachs, the back of your neck looks like a pack of hot dog rolls, you haven't cut your hair since 84. I'm dead sexy. Look at my sexy body. You drive a piece of shit car, you live with 17 roommates, you think fragrance is gonna change that? No! Oh, hell no! Fix your face, fix your hair, hit the gym, don't get tits. Those are things that are gonna help the fragrance help you. This fragrance game is absolutely a blast. You can start discovering new experiences, new scents, new profiles, just a whole new world. But that kind of goes with every other hobby too. The more you get into it, the more you feel that you're becoming more of an expert as opposed to leaving that novice space, you're discovering more of your personality and those hundred fragrances can start to whittle down into like maybe a top 10 super solid go-to scent profile. But people in the fragrance community, some especially some of the newer people that live in their mother's basement typing on a keyboard that smell like absolute shit and are miserable about their lives just want to go ahead and peter patter on the keyboard trying to ruin everybody's day. So Bound this nerd! It's entertainment. You're not watching Batman hoping that your parents got killed in the middle of the night so you could then become a vigilante in full spandex. Where are they? I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but Santa's not real. The East Bunny got hit by a truck. Christmas is not Jesus' birthday, and Thanksgiving is a holiday that nobody ever gives thanks for shit. No, 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 no. I always say, don't trust me, trust your skin. Use this as entertainment. This is a form of content to remove you out of your 
your everyday boredom, to entertain yourself, working your nine to five, your wife is screaming at you, your kids don't love you, your car broke down, you're a massive amount of debt, the bill collectors won't stop calling you, and all of a sudden you speak Mandarin with all those spam phone calls that you receive 48 times a day. Stop, please. It's a niche entertainment space. If you're watching a car program, doesn't automatically mean you're getting a Lambo tomorrow. If you're watching a review on the Apple Vision Pros, it doesn't mean, hey, go out and spend $3,500 on a huge pair of glasses while you're walking in the street like an absolute moron watching porn yanking your wang on 42nd Street. Doesn't mean that. You know that. Fragrance is not gonna automatically get you laid. It won't. Liquor is not gonna automatically get you laid legally. A Gucci shirt is not gonna automatically get you laid. An Hermes belt is not gonna automatically get you laid. A fire haircut is not automatically gonna get you laid. Personality might, charisma might, the overall package might, or it might not. Don't worry about the titles, enjoy the experience, enjoy the content, enjoy the hobby, enjoy the scent, live in the moment. Stop worrying so damn much or overthinking everything in a space that's about scented water but with price points from $2 to $2,000. Just have fun and live life, enjoy the content. We make hundreds of hours of content to entertain you guys and to share our shit with y'all. This is our way to vent our way to entertain ourselves, our way to have fun, and our way to experience creativity at its finest. It ain't that complicated. Welcome to the world of social media and entertainment. Can a fragrance get you compliments? Absolutely. Are they always gonna be positive compliments? Absolutely not. Can a fragrance add that little sexy extra fact because you put all the time and effort into presenting yourself as a confident individual with great charisma, a great conversationalist that can put a nice outfit together that didn't blow the bank, has a respectable bank account, is working their way up to being a successful individual based on their mind, and on top of that, they smell good? You're a fucking home run hitter, Ken Griffey. But if you don't got your whole shit together, stop buying fragrance and work on the rest of your life. As a broken individual, I would know. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. I hope you have fun watching this video and it opened up, you know, at least 1% of person's perspective. Although there's gonna be 500 stupid comments of, well, but the, this, you have no life. Just enjoy, live in the moment. You're gonna die someday. Smile and go jerk off. I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right? Smooth. Put a fly gun, hold a money folder, hold a roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough brother that raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.